Hello, this is Cindy Duncan. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a fabric art book that I would like to share with you. Um, I did follow a YouTube tutorial by, uh, um, the channel's name is Live Art Now, and it was called How to Create a Sturdy Base for a Fabric Lace Mini Album Book. And I will leave a link to that in the comments. I'm not sure if I truly like this uh, binding method. I have used this uh, similar binding method in the past, but what I didn't like about this binding method was um, that on the spine here, um, they have us putting cardboard and gluing it directly to our signatures, and what I found was that that makes it very difficult to turn the pages of the book and to decorate them since you assemble the book first and then decorate it later. So, if I do this particular type of binding in the future, I will omit the cardboard that goes along the spine. Um, there are four different pages in this book, and there is cardboard between. There's cardboard and batting and fabric on each one of these pages. The flower here on the cover is a flower that I made myself. Um, I also found out I've been dying to do fabric lace books, and this is not strictly in that tradition and I'm finding that to do one in that tradition and that style is going to be extremely expensive. Um, I had even gone out to thrift stores and, and bought shirts and dresses and things and taken them apart to um, get laces and whatever but I found I didn't have nearly enough trim um, to choose from, not enough laces, etc, etc. And um, like I said, I think it's going to be an uh, expensive little um, way to do things. Anyway, this is the first page, and then inside here we have this page, and uh, this is another flower that I made myself. This is one a shirt from uh, one of my thrifting um, finds there, and then this is some burlap inside that flower. I've got some flatback pearls there on these flowers too, some cute little rhinestone star or flower centers. I don't know if you can see them sparkle. I've got the dangle trim down here, a couple different layers of uh, trim at the bottom. This came off of a shirt that I got thrifting. This was from a beautiful trim that I bought from Joanne Fabrics. And um, it, um, I cut it apart, actually it was part of a big piece, and I cut it apart and got this bottom trim came from that also. So there's that, and you can hear my cat in the background, I'm sure. Um, this particular page here, I like this page a lot. This also has a flower that I made myself, a um, bunch of trim, a lace pocket that I put some um, pictures in. All of the pictures are fabric pitch pictures, and they come from the Vintage Workshop. Um, it's something that they gave to our design team many, many years ago um, for Altered Arts Magazine. And I don't know if they still sell them or not. Actually, I meant to look before I... Um, start of the video I'll have to look later and put the link for you if they do but that's from the vintage workshop it is fabric uh, you can peel the fabric or the paper backing off and put it on things but I left the paper backing on uh, because it made them a little bit more sturdy and so I have some more um, trims here and then I have this which I love this little pom-pom trim and then this page um, these flowers here actually oops I forgot my little center on this one. I'll have to put it in later. These flowers are actually from a garment that I got from a thrift store that I took apart and um, so I used that there. This came from the expensive trim I told you I got from Joann's. Um, some flat back pearls there and some bling. And that completes my little book. And I had so much fun making it. I actually, it was relatively quick to put together. I did most of the structure in one um, afternoon and then today, this morning, I did this, finished decorating it in a, a couple of hours, actually. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel, and um, I would like it if you would like this video, too. Thank you very much. Bye.